Hello and welcome to Access 2013 tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking you through sub reports. Uh, so if you want to play along follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download Access 2013 DB18 and let us open that up. Okay so last few videos we were working our way through query bookings uh, details extended Let's drop it to design view. Okay, now that what we want to do is we want to create a report for, I think, guests probably. So somehow we need to link table bookings to the actual guests. So we're going to have to show the table, sorry, table booking details to guests. Show the table, table bookings, and we've got our guest ID there. And then drop guest ID in here and drop room ID in here and run that. I'm going to be using this sort of as a multi purpose uh, report of query for the sub reports. So save that, close that. So now we need to create the sub report, which is actually going to hold this booking detail information. So I go up to create and choose um, report design, would be my recommendation. And we've got header, we've got detail, and we've got a footer. Uh, now the details where we're going to put the repeating data. So let's close that up a little bit because all I actually want is a line of data. And let's save the report. Call it report um, guest activity. Okay. Um, actually, now that's a terrible name for the report. It's an awful name for it. I couldn't have called it a worse name. What am I doing? Okay, let's rename that. Uh, it's report, booking, details, by guest, sub. Okay. That's a slightly better name. All right, now I'm in design view. I'm at the property sheet. If property sheet's not there, press F4. Um, data. So I'm now going to choose the query, query booking details extended as the data for the report. And I'm going to add some fields, but I'm not going to add all of the fields. So the fields I'm interested in adding are guest ID, um, I don't want tabular data. Yeah, go on. And I want the check-in date. And I want the checkout date. Checkout date? Yeah, checkout date. And I want the cost, which is that. I mean, I've called it cost, but actually it's that long line of uh, of details. So it ends up looking something like this, which is pretty much what we want. So drop it to layout view. Um, the actual guest ID, actually let's shift that over here and press f4 and let's make that invisible we can still see it because we're in layout view but it's invisible now check in date check out date and cost let's remove the border and if you want to click on multiple um, items at the same time press the control button and click through and that leaves us to do this make this much bigger Okay, um, some other obvious things. I don't even know why I bothered adding the labels. Not that I had much option. Because this is a sub-report. None of this makes sense. So let's just uh, get rid of this header full stop. Let's make this height 0 0.6. And let's move it as far up as it will go. Let's tighten it up as much as it will go. So we get that kind of neat um, layout view now this is all just formatting there's no big dramas here we're just literally actually changed my mind we're just uh, literally formatting existing data anyway what we want to do now is grid line style bottom solid okay um, just click on the left here and I want back color and alternate back color well, to be the same so I need to get rid of darker 5% 
Okay, so we've got very similar looking rows of data now, and I will probably just stick a, what I want to do is I just want to change the name of this text box. I'm just going to put a dash between checking in and I'll do exactly the same thing over here and I'm just putting this dash, putting a hyphen so it changes the name. The reason I'm doing that is that I can now click in here and I can say equals check uh, in colon and checking date. Okay, uh, so I probably need a space somewhere. Or bigger space. Check in, so it gives us a check in. And this one, uh, same idea. Equals check out. One, two, three, four. And percent, so that's back to that concatenation idea. What's that? this down okay and print preview just to see what it looks like okay so that's uh, that's pretty good for a sub report uh, now key you might be wondering I was gonna say key what you might be wondering why we've got the guest ID here and it's invisible we're gonna use the guest ID to link up to the main report as we're making a report about guest activity so in the next um, tutorial we're going to create the sort of main guest report which is going to list all the guests and then we're going to add this in as a sub report and we're going to use the guest id as a way of filtering down the uh, sub report so uh, that's a simple sub report and see you in the next video where we will be creating the main report thank you and goodbye